Oh my gosh. This is the paternity test that Natalie was talking about. <gasps> the one that Jessica was trying to convince her was real. This is your paternity test. Oh my. It says that Brody is not your father. <gasps> John McBain is. Yeah. I promised Court I was going to turn over a new leaf, which means I have to tell him the truth. But if I bring this to the church, it's going to ruin the wedding. No. David Vickers. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Are you all right? Do you really think that I would come here and tell you this if I didn't have every reason to believe that it were true? That means you must have some proof. I would love to see it. I would love to see what kind of evidence you actually could have to back this up. I have a DNA test. It says that Liam is not Brody's son. That he's Jones. Oh, fine. <clears throat> sure. Because you look like you're a million miles away. I just, um... I, uh... Needed to catch my breath. Sorry. <laughs> Do you, Brody, take Natalie to be your lawful wedded wife? To have and to hold from this day forward? For better, for worse? For richer, for poorer? In sickness and in health? To love and to cherish? Till death do you part? I do. So I just have to sneak into the nursery. Which happens to be Ryder's nursery, too. True. So here's what we do. We pick him up from my mom's house. We take him over to Landfair. We put him in his crib. You turn around, you snip a little lock of hair off. Oh, Liam, you give man. it to me, and we're just... Then we take it, we get it tested. And Nigel catches me, and Natalie hates me forever. Well, she hates you right now, okay? So what do you got to lose? We still have to get a sample from John and Brody to compare it to. We'll figure it out. No. Uh, there's not enough time. I mean, if the truth is going to come out, it's going to come out after Natalie becomes Mrs. Brody Lovett. And do you, Natalie, take Brody to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part? Wait, stop! Hey, little man. Hi. How you doing? I just came to say goodbye. Tina? Well, I got here as fast as I could. You told me to start without you, so I did, and I know that you were worried about David Vickers. I'm glad that you found him in the middle of the wedding. You don't understand. Tina, you are way too late. This wedding has one maid, and it's gonna be me. Look, this has nothing to do with my being the maid of honor. I mean, we, it, yeah, it does, but... But there's something I have to say. But, Tina, couldn't this wait till the end of the ceremony? Hmm? No, it can't, because I have to give Natalie this. Well, there's nothing that she needs from you, because I got it covered. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Because uh, you were taking care of your missing mutt. I took care of the maid of honor, duty patooties, so back off. Roxy, this has nothing to do with being the maid of honor. So, Tina, why can't it wait? It's not a wedding. I know. That's why I have to give her this. your dad for about five minutes. 
Just five minutes of my life. You know, your mom and me, we named you. We named you Liam. That means protected in Gaelic. I've tried my very best to protect you. But you know, I'm not going to be around much anymore, all right? So you got to listen to your mom, all right? You got to do what she says and you'll grow up to be a good boy. Step away from that crib or I shall call the police. It's okay, Nigel. I, uh, I kind of am the police. So, now that's settled. I'm sorry. Don't worry. After all the trouble we went through with Ryder's paternity test, I know that you can't be appreciating the fact that I am dragging you into yet another giant Buchanan family mess. Honestly, Jess, I... <laughs> little mind. You don't have to say that to make me feel better, you know? I wouldn't. Well, I appreciate that. But still, I know that you can't be enjoying this, and I'm sure right now you're thinking, somebody get this crazy lady no, away from me. No, I'm not thinking that. Not at all. Why is it so important for you to do this? Because... Because I hate myself. I hate that I am the kind of person who would do this, who would change my face, to scheme, to try to take over my sister's life just to get the man she loves. You don't even remember it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It was a horrible, desperate, selfish thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Stacy Marasco was. I mean, do you really want to be that girl? Like you said, it's who I am. I can't keep pretending to be Gigi. If that poor kid Shane or Rex ever saw me, it would kill them. And I just can't risk that happening. Not anymore. I, I know it got a little dicey last time, but I mean, if it triggers some memory... It didn't. I looked Rex right in the eye at that Halloween party, and I still couldn't remember him. So how will getting your old face back make any difference? I have to try. If I get this surgery, then maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to look in the mirror and remember something, anything. And when I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Rex and I'm gonna confess what I tried to do. How will that help? I don't know. But I have to do something to make everything right. Yeah, sorry, I can't let you do it. Jessica was telling the truth. As soon as I saw this, I knew it was the paper you were talking about. Where did you find it? David Vickers had it. I mean, she was in the nursery with Liam, and she wouldn't let it go. What the hell is going on Honey, here? can you explain this, please? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but David Vickers got it from my brother, Victor. I mean, she, she got it out of his papers. Wait a second. Why would Victor have a paternity test done on Natty's kid? I don't know. You said Jessica was telling the truth? What does Jesse have to do with this? Jesse, um... Kimberly, last night, she, she tried to tell me. She said that John might be Liam's father, and I, I didn't, didn't believe her. Her story just sounded so crazy. I mean, she said that she got the paternity test from the dog, and then the dog took it back, and I didn't believe her. And then I told her that, that she was lying and that she was just trying to destroy any happiness Brody and I have. And that's exactly what she was trying to do, Natalie. We can't let her. Brody, I'm sorry, but this is the proof. It says no. that John is Liam's father. This isn't proof. This is just another lie on another piece of paper. Then we have to get proof. I'm gonna have Liam tested. Over my dead body.